Welcome back. Welcome to my Not Your Average Tea Party. I am here with two amazing brothers, David and Kai Oraduba, who are the creators of Nia Tea, NYA, Not Your Average, and they have brought us this amazing spread to share with you. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank you. much for coming in. So Thank let's you. let's learn a little about Nia Tea, and you have already blown my mind and changed <laughs> my plan for my weekend. <laughs> so we'll get there for our guests, but for right now, let's talk about all the beautiful things in front of us. How did this start? Where did it come from? I mean, what you're saying is this is our artwork. Yeah. I can't draw, I can't paint, but can put tea and herbs together just to make this look beautiful. That's the first step. Then, you know, past that, it's definitely gonna taste well. But how this all came to be was just a very, very unique night. David and I were gathered with a couple friends, supposed to head out on, on um, night on the town. Uh -huh. And one of the guys was like, you know what, I'm throws a little horse right now. Can you give me one of your little funky herbs? And I was like, okay. So you were always the herb guy. I was not always the herb guy, but known as the herb guy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that all came to be uh, about 20 years ago, doing an exchange program in Japan. That's when tea was just thrown in my face. Mm -hmm. Had had Lipton in Arizona and all those things, but didn't really truly embrace the tea experience until I was in Okinawa. Got it. And um, my host father and I, we would have like our Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi moments of training, have a little cup of tea, and that, that. ritual is what, what stuck with me. But um, fast forward about a good, what, 15 years or mm -hmm. something there. <laughs> David and I were gathered with some friends, having a drink before heading out. And one of the guys like, hey, give me one of your special herbs. And it happened to be one of the teas we're going to try today called the OG. Okay, which means? <laughs> Original goodness. Yes. There you go. <laughs> I've learned that everything, there's something behind everything. Oh, yes. You guys are <laughs> never just what you see. Yes. <laughs> so talk to us about everything we have here. All right, you want to go through this? Um, yes, yeah, so as Kai alluded, we have the OG, Original Goodness. Um, amazing thing about this one is it is really good for your immunity benefits. Um, it is also good for women during that time of the month as well with raspberry leaf. Okay. It has orange pills, cardamom, cinnamon. Um, it's definitely something that keeps you very um, balanced and zen. And if you're feeling cold, it's a great tea to have. Um, and the best thing, it, it tastes really amazing. So with tea, you definitely want to have a, uh, a, a ritual, a consistency with it to really feel the benefits. So this is something you could drink daily. We also um, have Elysian Park, which is a, uh, a roasted coconut green tea, um, a cincha green tea to be exact. Okay. And cincha is a, a spring uh, spring harvest leaf, so it's light, it's delicate, it's floral, delicious. And this has like a nutty kind of roasty taste that's similar to ginmaicha, which is like a, a roasted rice tea. Which is another word most people have never heard. Exactly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then last, um, we have, but not least, we have Mercedes Gonzalez. This, this is Mercedes is, Gonzalez? Yes. Because she is incredibly beautiful. Oh, like, she I is. just want to jump in and, yes. it's almost like autumn leaves, right? Yes. You just want to jump in and play. Yeah. So Like I beautiful. said, we want it to be the trifecta. Well, first you're going to see it, and then you're like, wow, i got to smell it. And then you smell it, and then your taste buds just start moving and get and excited. And I always say to our audience, I wish we had smell-o-vision right now. <laughs> because you would just, just the rawness of it, but it's so fresh and bright. Oh, yeah. It feels bright. So do you make the combinations? Yes. How do you decide? It's a lot of it's it's... It's art, you know. Um, whatever inspirations come to us visually, um, what type of flavor profiles that, that feel seasonal or in the moment or in our mood, and then also the benefits. So it's kind of like that culmination of what is it going to do, how are you going to react and experience it, mm -hmm. and what does it look like, you know. Um, so with Mercedes Gonzalez, we wanted something uh, that's beautiful, that that's alluring, that's fun, that's kind of like quirky mm -hmm. and different. You're like, wow. So you know? is she a real person? Did she, you do this she's, after a real person? She's she's a muse, more not a real person, okay. but in, inspired by that that girl when you were in school that you had a crush on. I was <laughs> way too cool, but you didn't talk to, and you know. I or, love it. Um, I love it. So. Um, or was I? Yeah. So this one is really nice for uh, relaxation, anxiety. Uh, when you just feel 
wound up and you've been sitting in traffic all day, mm -hmm. you just wanna come down. This is really nice for that. Um, and it's great before bed as well. Beautiful. Uh, so yeah. So these are all the varieties, right? Is this everything? I see we, we yes. didn't, not so. intentionally, but Mercedes <laughs> yeah, is oh, right, yeah, front, oh, and yeah. right and center. Yes, right, yes. and we've got Elysian Park that you mentioned. That's the Coconut Sencha. Yes, yes. Okay. Coconut Sencha. And this one that is... One is uh, that one is Huni B. It's not here, but that is a uh, a uh, peach mango uh, green rooibos. So rooibos is a uh, South African bush herb um, that is uh, caffeine free, um, but is full of minerals. It's very uh, cleansing, detoxifying, and delicious. Um, and, and beautiful callus. And uh, callus is a um, it's a, a, a spearmint lemongrass with coriander, apple, oh and ginger. Gosh, um, that that one's very, like very cooling and um, also cleansing, but not in an aggressive way, but more in a gentle, almost like mm -hmm. you're, uh, an inner spa, you know? Amazing. So I'm sure so, there's so much that goes into each one of these, right? There definitely is. And just so you know, with these teas here, they're the ones that have graduated and made the cut. Oh, yeah. We okay. do, we have test kitchens around Los Angeles, which allows us to kind of test flavors out, wow. see what people are vibing with, what they're asking for, benefits, flavors, all that, and that truly helps us craft our, our brew. Where do you source the raw materials? It literally, every Everywhere. continent. Yeah, it's gonna be from this optimal growing region, uh -huh. and then from there we get down and dirty, and I shouldn't say dirty, <laughs> <Yeah, no. laughs> we get down, down and the clean. Mix, you know? So are they all organic um, resources, everything that you're using is, is um, clean? So it's mostly organic, organic compliant. compliant. The um, big bulk components, those are definitely gonna be organic, mm -hmm. and I'm all about clean and dealing fair trade so we can know that what mm -hmm. we're drinking is not only good for us, but those who are providing it to us yeah. right. have to be sourced. Dealt right. That's mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah. So it makes you feel good from exactly. every aspect of what oh, you're head using. To toe. That's wonderful. Well, you know, you have soul food, we call it soul tea, in that, you know, everything, every ingredient, everything that was touched, uh, grown from the earth is made with love, and then when we prepare, it's also given with love, so. So out of curiosity, because I don't know the answer to this, mm -hmm. what were you guys doing before this? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, not tea, okay. yeah. no, but <laughs> okay. as I said, it was still there. We were both former athletes, and I've, we played football, college. We also played professional afterwards, and I've coached a number of athletes, but we're always introducing teas and herbs. Right. That was one of my, the things I didn't like was the um, pre-workout drinks you would get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they would Definitely. have you sitting here shaking like a madman, sweating so nervous you couldn't catch a ball or focus. And so that is kind of what I liked about tea and that I can get the pick-me-up, but then you have l and ashwagandha and other herbs which are gonna keep you balanced and focused so that you can run that marathon or whatever your, your That's sport is amazing. and keep you going. Yeah, like we I've, spend a lot of time on the show talking about what brings people from where they were to their next and their next. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so being, you know, unleashing the passion, finding the artistry, I love your story. Thank you. Thank you. Do you find that, um, that athletes are joining in your tea party, that, that they're getting it? Everybody. Well, yeah. Everybody? <laughs> I think it's definitely, you find that the beauty of tea is it, it definitely brings people together yeah. of all walks of life. Mm -hmm. And even in, uh, in ancient Japan or, or Oh, Japan, when they have war, the, the one time that enemies would stop was during tea time. Enemies would have tea with each other, and that was a moment where they would be together in silence and drink tea. So the, the beauty we find is that it brings our, our customers of all walks of life, which is pretty exciting. That's amazing. So how long, back to our little party here, how long is the perfect brew? How long should it, it sit and steam? It really depends on the, the herbs you're working with. Okay. The reason I went ahead and poured this one ahead is it it can steep as long as it wants. Oh, okay. Typically, when you're dealing with herbs, wait, that's my job. Oh, sorry. Oh, I, get job. To, sorry. I get to oh, do the yes, cold brew. Yes. I get to do the cold brew because this is something <laughs> yeah, I can do. Can steep, right? yes. Because you guys have just totally changed the tenor of my weekend. Yes, you yes. Told me to take, <laughs> you right. told me to take my less than perfect sparkling whatever <laughs> yes, sparkling yes. wine and add tea to it, which I never would have thought of using it as a cold brew. At, and oh. it's kind of magic. Oh my, yeah, it's so gonna change the, the color. Yeah. And 
And so I that love tea that. We, we have in there, we call OMG. Uh huh. And it's a um, it's an orange mango fusion. Ginger. It's not oh my god. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. That orange mango ginger too. in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> orange mango goddess. Yes. There you go. <laughs> but it's just no. It's it's a lot of fun because it just shows the diversity of tea, and I that have it never can literally fit cold. into. Mm -hmm. And same thing when you're doing iced tea. Uh huh. You can just have a pitcher. Put it in a fridge, let it sit there overnight. If you're not doing much work, but putting the Beautiful. herbs in a filter. Or, and or with club soda, have a little spritzer, do the same type nice. of thing as well. You know, okay. put a little gin in there, it's good to go. That has <laughs> totally changed everything. So which, okay, which one are we gonna drink? Or are we gonna try both? Well, we can start with this because we want that one to steep a little a more. A little bit more, okay. I start pouring in here. And yes, of so course, we have yeah. cups here. Oh, and we're going to try that one too. So I'll start steeping this one as David, Excellent. you want to pour OG in? Okay. Excellent. So you can see our firstborn. <laughs> I love that. And I also love the, uh, see, this is something I've always loved the, the Japanese, just the Asian approach to small cups and sips and, you know, really. Being able to hold it in your hand and experience yeah. the physical sensuality of the heat and yes. the goodness. I love that. Okay, well, All cheers. Right. cheers. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, mm. so when you drink it, like you're saying, you feel the heat, the steam, you kind of taste the liqueur and you you taste it through your mouth and your nose at the same time. Tell me again what's in this mix. Um, this one is um, sage, uh, raspberry leaf, dandelion, orange, cinnamon, cardamom, uh, orange peel. So I get the raspberry it. and the cinnamon yeah. I'm oh, kind yeah. of feeling like rising and above. And then another thing that I don't know if you mentioned earlier with raspberry leaf, the name kind of freaks out expecting moms. Because? OG. Oh, <laughs> but okay. raspberry leaf is going to be something that is good for you when you are full term. Okay. So that it's going to help promote healthy contractions. Oh. And good. I can tell you from experience that I was pumping this down my wife's boat <laughs> when we're getting close to game time, and uh huh. Yep. Came was, right out. No problem. Grease, yeah. the, grease the skids, and there you go. Well, it's delicious. So it's not like a hardship to yes. pour it down. <laughs> Thank you. It's wonderful, and. What else are you finding that people are, you know, doing with it? Are there, be, can you take the leaves? This is something I've thought about. I've never done it. Take the leaves, actually cook them a little, mm -hmm. and then use them otherwise, because I hate to waste them. I feel like they're not done, so, even though the tea may be done. I'm very happy you said that. Mm -hmm. Beauty of loose leaf tea mm -hmm. versus tea bags mm -hmm. is, take a step back. With tea bags, they're taking whatever's left of the plant and chopping that up into tea dust. Lower quality, yep. flavor profile is not gonna be as strong. You're not gonna get as many brews out of it. Right. But when you're dealing with the loose leaf tea, you can reuse your leaves multiple times, so don't mm -hmm. toss them away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For instance, if you have a, a teapot like that, which has a filter in it, just put some hot water back in there. Reconstitute and it, it yeah. and mm -hmm. keep using it. Mm -hmm. And then it's done when basically nothing it's, more comes through. Yeah, it's more of just your personal yeah. touch, because. There's peak times where I'll go about four brews, but then someone like David, he may, you know, want it a little bit bolder and he'll mm -hmm. do two brews out of it, but it, it's, you're, you can create how you want it to be. Okay. And the, also the great thing with the leaves, you can do, um, you can also use it for a bath. Um, mm -hmm. the, the tannins on it are really good for your skin. Um, they have antioxidant, um, oxidative properties. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that's also really good as well is for um, like bath, foot baths, or you can put it in a, uh, a, a spray bottle, let it steep, and use a tea spray. So what it does, is it provides a coat protecting for your hair, your skin, and use a hair spritz. Oh, so, that's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So many good things to know. Speaking can we do of, this one next? Yeah. yeah. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of baths, actually, Yeah. Mercedes, my wife, when she was expecting, came home from work one day just stressed, fuming, you know, life is can be difficult at times, and. I was like, you know what, relax, chill out, just sit down for a second, have something for you. And I drew her a bath, and I put the leaves in the bath. I mean, I put that tea in the bath. 
but you just want to make sure you have filters of some sort, otherwise your plumber is going to really love you. <laughs> Good yeah. point. Yeah. Good point. So <laughs> you can difficult. actually just put it in, though, in yeah. a... Um, uh, well, I, I have large filters that I would use for like... Yeah, well, just so the oh, okay. drains, I would definitely have the... Yeah, yeah. but it's... it's it. And have the paper, the, paper, the, the paper filters are better just oh. because the, the ball, sometimes it can leak through, gotcha. so you don't want to drain the... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> This is not only beautiful, but there is something about bubbly that yes. just, it, it gets you, doesn't it? <laughs> cheers. Yeah, we could cheers. Thank again. you. Yes. So before we drink, I want to tell our audience where they can find you. So how can they get more information and... So the best way to find us would be at neat.com okay. or on Instagram at nya.tea. Okay. Once again, Perfect. -E -E We're going to put yes. it up on the screen. <laughs> David and Kai, thank you so thank much you. for being with us. Mm. You have to come here and share this next time. <laughs> and we'll be right back.